Hello grade 8, hello grade 8. Ons werk die huiswerk van oefening 6.5, we maken the homework of exercise 6.5 in this lesson 4. First thing, if I ask you to do this, I'll say simplify. My, my vraag aan wees, vir en voudig, wat is hier om te doen? Die haakie sê jy moet exponente maal. The brackets say that you must time your exponents. So you're going to have 3 times 2 is 6 of the base of a. 3 mal 2 is 6 en jou die a. Wat gebeur met die minus 3? Niks. Daar staan minus 3 maal met dit. Dit blijft nog steeds maal met die pinkie, sonder die pinkie. You can put the point there if you want to for multiplication, but that's the answer. That square is not by that negative 3, it's only by that a. For this one, the exponent is by the negative. And now, if an exponent was even over a negative value there, it would have become positive. But a negative to an uneven exponent is negative. As it a negative to the even mag was, then so the negative positive geworden. But a negative to the uneven mag is eerstens a negative. And now, elke term bestaan uit a teken getal veranderlik is. Every term consists of a sign and a number and then variables. So first the sign to that power, then the 3 to that power is 3 to the 3 and you can immediately write 27. 3 to the power 3 you should know is 27. If you first want to write 3 to the 3 that's fine because remember the exponent there, the ninja 1 is equal to 1 there, 1 times 3 is 3. And then b to the power, again, multiply your exponents is 15. So if you first wanted to say minus 3 to the 3, b to the 15, and then rather simplify the 3 to the 3, if it's possible and it's not too big or too small, we do that. For the next one, there is a subtraction, but you first have to do this bracket. All that yesterday, hockeys. And the hockeys say mold the expo. Nente. So it's going to be a to the power of multiply the exponents is 6. Nothing happening here at the back. Do not leave it away. Hou jou stappe gelijk aan mekaar. Jy is nie bezig met die ding nie, maar hy staan daar. Dit is gelijk aan dit. Is gelijk aan. Kan ek iets verder doen of moet ek ophou? Is it possible to go on? Yes. I have how many terms? Hoeveel terme? Daar is 2 terme geskyf hier daar minus. In die termen is hulle gelijk soortig, all they like terms? Yes, because the variables are exactly the same. So I can add and get an amount of a to the power 6. What amount? What staan hier voor die a? If there is nothing there, there is a 1. So adding the coefficients, 1 minus 5. Tel die coefficient op, 1 minus 5 is minus 4. En nou kan jy niks meer verder doen. Want hou, jy hou die veranderlijke Maar jy tel die coefficient op. You keep the variable, but you add the coefficients. For this one, again, definitely multiplication, multiplication. So it's going to be x to the 8 times with x to the 6. Be careful, especially in an exam coming from wherever. It's never a good idea to have x's and multiplication signs because eventually they all look like x's. Die maaltekens en die, die um, veranderlijke x is nooit een goeie idee in een vraag stel nie, maar dit gebeur, so jy moet seker maak. Maak jou x's ronde, make your variables a little rounder, so that you can see the difference between multiplication and x, so that jy kan sien as die verskil. Is hy klaar met my som? Nee. Nou sê jy weer terug by die exponent weet wat gesê het, recipie. As jy maal in die grond dan is die selfde, Hou die grondtal x en tel die exponente by mekaar. There is like a little rhyme you've got to tell yourself. If I time and the bases are the same, keep the base, hou die grondtal en tel die exponente op. Keep the base and add the exponents. So the answer would be x to the 14. Nothing with the coefficients because it's not adding like terms. It's multiplication. Elke sting wat jy doen het sê aan jy, reels. You've got like a math toolbox. If you want to do something, you don't go and get the hammer to change the light bulb. You must get the right tool. For elke ding wat jy doen, het jy een wiskunde toolbox, wat ek van praat. As jy ietsie wil gaan doen, jy gaan al nie die hammer om die licht in te sit nie. Gebruik die rechte tool vir die rechte ding. Hierdie was nie plus en min van gelijksoortige termen nie, so jy doen niks met die coefficiënte nie. 
as jy maal die grond al is die selle, hou die grond al tel exponent met mekaar, when you time and the base is all the same, keep the base at the exponents. Next one, again with the multiplications, definitely something to do here. Yeah? So, first of all, that 2 has to go there by the 1 as well. So it's 4 to the power of 2. If you want to write 16 immediately, you can. Or first, 4 to the power 2. Eerst kan jy eerst 16 gaan uitwerk het, of jy kan daardig eerst gaan skryf het, die toe mag 2, en dan die 16, en dan gaan het wees, 3 mal 2 is 6. But the rule is, maal jou exponente, en 1 mal 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Then there's a plus, and then there's a bracket, so keep the bracket. First of all, the negative inside the bracket is to an uneven exponent. The negative is to the uneven mark, but the teken dit gaan a minus place, so it will stay a minus. Minus to an uneven exponent stays a minus. Min to the uneven is a min. And then the 3 to the mark. And now there is a 1 here, there is a ninja 1 there. 1 mal 3 is 3. Can you write 27 immediately? Yes, you can. And then 2 times 3 is 6. And then, there's another thing that has to happen here. Plus times a minus is a minus. But that's it. You've got the 16, x to the 6, because you're just simplifying. Please keep your equal signs there. And then plus times a minus, this is 27. It's still x to the power of 6. And that's the end. No, it's not. Daar is nie die antwoord nie, want kyk hoe lyk daar twee terme. Hulle is gelijk soortig. Dan hou ek die veranderlijke x6 en ek tel die coefficiënte by mekaar. So I keep the variable and I add the coefficient. 16 minus 27 is minus 11. 16 minus 7 toon is minus 11. X to die mag 6. Hoe vorder jy? Going well. Alright, for the next one, the thing that you must not do is say multiply in the 3. Because you cannot if everything inside is not multiplied. Daie reel werk net, as jy kan inmal, 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 as daar nie a plus of a min is, nie nou wat nou. There's something else you can do. It's not that you can't go on. Look at these two terms inside of this bracket. They are like terms. Sien jy dat het gelijk soortige terme is? x kwadraat a4, x kwadraat a4. They're both x square y to the 4, so they are like. So I can add them. I can see how many x square y falls there are. Tell the coefficient of 12 minus 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. So I added them. But it's still in a big bracket with a 3 out. Sign. And no can I get gaan in more. If there's a plus and a minus, you cannot time in that 3 over all the exponents. Only if it's multiplication. So if I had 3 times 4, 3 times 2, and 3 times the 1 as well. Nou, jy kan eerst weer gaan sê, 1 mal 3 is 3 to die 3, of jy kan daardig sê 7, 20. But if you know your powers of 2 and your powers of 3, 3 to the 1, 3 to the 2, 3 to the 3, out of your head, you can immediately write 27. En x to die mag, 2 mal 3 is 6, en 4 mal 3 is 12. En dan kan jy niks verder doen, jy moet nie snaak so goed doen, soos om exponente by mekaar te begin te tel, strange, adding them and dividing 27 and 6 and all sorts of nonsense. For everything, there is a rule. Alright, today's work is again a little bit of revision. Because when we were in integers, you could do the roots, square roots and cube roots. So, jy by gewone heelgetalle was, het ons ook wortels, vierkants wortels, en daarom mag wortels gedoen, wortels van getalle. Nou die vierkants wortel van 16, weet allemaal van julle is 4. You know that the square root of 16 is 4. Please know your um, square numbers and your cube numbers. Ken jou vierkants getalle en jou derde mag getalle, dat jy dadelijk my kan sê, wat mal wat geef my 16? Immediately you know that what times what gives me 16 is 4. So you know that 4 square is 16. Goed, nou gaan ons by die veranderlikes kom en hier is net een reel. As die veranderlike bykom, al wat jy doen is jy deel sy exponent dier die grootte van die wortel. You divide the exponent by the size of the root. That is the rule. 
actually that's what you're doing with 16 as well. Because if you take it as 16, which you know is four square in a square root. Do you see that that's the same? See that the cell is? And I have also said, the second part of the part of what's down here in a vierkant wortel, what is the number there in a square root? Not nothing, not one, but there is a two standing there. In a square root, there is a 2. So actually what you're doing is you're saying 2 divided by 2 gives you 4 to the power of 1. But you already know that the square root of 16 is 4, so immediately you gave it to me. But it's the same principle if there's not a number but a variable. This is the beginsel. Al is it now a veranderlijke. Jy gaan nog sê, steeds sê 2 gedeeld hier. Wat staan daar? What is standing there? There's nothing there. There's a 2. So actually you're saying x is... It's x to the power of 2 divided by 2. You don't write that. You just give me the answer as x to the 1. Can you write the 1 there if you want to? Yes, you can. Immediately write the answer, yes, please. But for an example, it's good to see that it's 2 divided by 2. And that's why this answer will be x to the power of exponent divided by the root. Exponent, gedeeld dier die wortel groote, wat staan nou weer daar? Daar sê 2. So it's 8 gedeeld dier 2 wat 4 is. You just have to write the answer, but what you're doing is saying exponent divided by root size. Exponent gedeeld dier die wortel groote, 8 gedeeld dier 2. So if it's a cube root, whether it's a square root or a cube root, we're doing the both of the exercises together. Square root, cube root, same thing. You've done roots, cubes, cube roots and square roots before. Jy het al reeds die goed gedoen in, ek, in die heel getalle. So wat denk jy gaan hier gebeur? Salle ding. Exponent gedeeld dier die wortel groote. So the answer is going to be x to the power of 9 gedeeld dier 3 is 3. That's it. So what about, there was something a little bit um, problematic with a negative inside of a square root. Well it's not only a square root, it's any even root. Because you don't just have square roots, cube roots. You also have root 4, root 5, root 6, root 7, and so on. Jy het nie net een vierkants wortel en een derdemaas wortel nie. Ons het veel geleer dat een minus en een ewe wortel, nie net een vierkants wortel en enige ewe wortel, kan nie. So this does not exist. Right? Is that true? No, it does exist, just not in our number system. So die antwoord het jy altyd vir ons gesê is nie reel, is non real. Are there such numbers? Yes, there are. In the non-real number system, it's not undefined, it's not impossible, it's just non-real. Dat is een verschil tussen ongedefinieerd of onmoendlik en nie real, want die nie reële getallestelsel is een getallestelsel wat die mens na school eers meer be, um, bewerkings gaan doen, onthou. So jy het nie eers gekyk na die x-goedraad nie. Want as minus 16 nie reel is, is die hele antwoord nie reel en jy stop daar. Do you remember this? If there was a negative inside of an even root, you say non real. Negatief in een even wortel is nie reel. Maar kan daar een negatief in een oneven wortel wees? Ja, dat kan. Ons kom nou by hom. So, as het nie negatief is nie, geen probleem nie. So, it's a square root of 36, wat jy weet is, 6. And then what do you do with that 18? Daar staan ons 2, so it's 18 divided by 2, so it's going to be 18 divided by 2 is 9. Know your um, perfect squares. 1, to the, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, this is 6 square. So can I have a negative and have an answer? Yes, if that is an odd root. And an oneven wortel kan daar a minus weer, so dis nie, nie reel nie. Because that's odd, it's fine. And you should know what is the cube root of 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So 8's cube root is 2. But it's going to stay a negative. Because minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 is going to be minus 8. 3 minus here for my a minus 8. And then weer eens 12 gedeeld dier 3 geef vir jou 4. And that's your answer. You knew before that minus that can be inside of a square root, a cube root. It's fine, and you know that the answer is negative two. Now all that's been added is the variables because now we're now busy with algebra. Let's do a last one. 
be careful. Just like in when we were just working with 9 and 16, you could not say root 16 and root 9 separate them. Because it's a plus, you have to first add them and then you're going to do the root. You can not read two apart gaan schrijf nie, want it's not the same answer, it's not the right nie. You have to first optel. Can I add these two terms? Ja, jy het ons nou geleer, ons kan gelijk soortige termen optel, weer die coefficiënte op te tel. We add the like terms by adding the coefficients. So we get 25, not x4 or something strange, still x squared. Adding the like terms, but it's combined now with roots. So in the root, you root the 25 and you get 5. Vier kans order van 25 is 5. En 2 gedeel dier wat stond op, 2 is dan nou net a eniekie. If you want to put the power 1 there, you're welcome. It's not wrong. So please be careful. I want to show you that if you thought that you could go and say, let's do the separate root and the separate root, it is not true. Because that would be 4x and that would be 3x. And if you add the two together, you're going to get 7x, which is not the right answer because there is a principal error. Jy maak a beginsel fout, as jy denk jy kan die twee apart gaan doen. As die twee gemaal was, dan kon jy dit gedoen het. If those two were multiplied, then I could separate them and do the two multiplications separate and do the two roots separate. But if it's plus and minus, you do not have that rule for inside of a root. You have to first add them and then do the root. Jy moet eerst die twee by mekaar tel en dan die wortel gaan doen. As het mal was, kon jy hulle apart geskryf het en die aparte sommetje gaan doen het en dit sal gewerk het. Goed, so ons is bezig met die wortels en derde mags wortels, wie kan soms derde mag wortels, wat jy gedoen het in die heel getalle, pas jy nou toe ook met veranderlik is. So jou huiswerk is oefening 6.6 en 6.7, die nommers wat ek daar vir jou gegeet, jou homework is exercise 6.6 en 6.7, those homework sums, they shorter sums, so please try your best.